Welcome back to Sahara TV coverage of the inauguration of President Mohamedou Buhari. I have to get used to that. <laughs> so we are now going to Abuja to speak to the publisher of Sahara Reporters, uh, Omoyo Leshore. For the first time, we can tell you sh for sure he's in Abuja, which is a change, part of the change that took place in Nigeria. So, Shore, welcome to Sahara TV. Thank you for bringing me, Ruda. Yeah. All right. So what did you see today? Uh, what happened? What's your impression of the events uh, uh, today in Abuja? Uh, we, it, it was a very, very calm event. Uh, I, I would say it wasn't the best organized, I, I have to tell you. Uh, I think uh, the U.S. Secretary of State was held up in uh, huge traffic. We I also observed at the point that there was some security breach. Uh, the, Young people around the event of the inauguration overpowered the military at the point and almost stormed <laughs> uh, the Eagle Square, uh, which is only seen by a few of us. But otherwise, uh, there was no problem uh, as such, except that uh, the PDP uh, uh, inauguration invitation cards were not given to their members. So that section of the uh, Eagle Square was uh, empty. not filled up. Yes, completely empty. Wow. Uh, and we had an uh, interesting, there were a lot of uh, African leaders, and uh, we had an encounter with uh, uh, Robert Mugabe. And uh, it's very interesting. We're working together at a few months, I mean, I mean, to you guys, uh, where myself, uh, Adiola, and I kept asking him uh, when he would step down, where, where, and if he would allow free and fair elections to happen in his country so that we too can go to Zimbabwe to attend an inauguration of this type. Mm. So, Did he answer you? I think your, your Skype froze. Um, we will, um, the internet connection, which is something that needs to change too in Nigeria, um, is uh, we will try to reconnect with Shore. Okay, Shore, go ahead. I had your back. Okay. All right. So he was talking about the encounter they had with the um, president of uh, Zimbabwe in Nigeria who attended the event. I understand that several other African leaders were there, and they tried to talk to them about democracy in Africa. And being that they came to Nigeria to be part of this event, when uh, people are going to come to their countries to attend an event like that, um, it will be interesting to know when we get the videos, we are going to show you these encounters with African leaders, or so-called uh, leaders. Um, also, we want to talk to him about events in other parts of the country, because we tend to forget that several governors are taking office today, too, or have taken office today, and old ones have gone, uh, places like um, Abia State, um, Enugu State, uh, in Plateau State. So there are several changes taking place across the countries. Um, we, of course, you know that we have our show tomorrow, our regular show tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., where we will continue this discussion and we will expand it to talk about events that took place uh, in several capitals of states across Nigeria today. Um, while we wait to reconnect with Shore, I want to also tell you that uh, at the top of the hour, we are going to give you the chance to give us feedback on today's events. What did you see? What do you think about the events? Were you there? You can join us through the phone or through Skype to um, give us your feedback on what you think. Also, we expect to talk to Professor Okendibe down the road, um, maybe in another 15 minutes. Uh, we want to know his impression of uh, the things that happened today in Nigeria. Uh, and um, we have other guests that we are trying to reach. Of course, Dr. Bremer, who is a regular on this show, is also in Abuja. He's uh, waiting to join us and give us his own take on what happened. Uh, if we have enough time, we'll go back to Adiola, who is um, ready to give us um, more of the updates of the events that uh, took place today. I think, um, OK. I understand that uh, Shawaray's battery is dead, and we are going to take a break. 
when we come back, we are going to talk to Professor Okendibe. Stay tuned. <music>